Hello and welcome to this film about energetics. It's um, it's really an introduction to the uh, the topic that studies energy changes in chemistry. Um, and being an introduction, it's just going to present some of the key terms and some of the most important ideas um, that we look at in this topic. Okay, so what is energetics? Well, you might not be surprised to hear that it's all about energy. Um, but as you might know, or hopefully you do from your lower school science educations, that there are many different forms of energy. Um, so in this topic of energetics, certainly at the level that we're going to be looking at it, um, deals mainly with a type of energy called enthalpy. And I suppose the simplest way of thinking about enthalpy for now is just to think of it as a kind of chemical potential energy. So just like a, sp a spring can have potential energy in it, or a, a ball at the top of the hill can have gravitational potential energy, so a chemical system can have the potential to do work, or the potential to turn its potential energy into some other form of energy. Okay, So enthalpy is just a form of chemical potential energy. And as we study energetics, we often look at different chemical reactions um, with heat changes. Okay, So it's important that we ask the question, where does the heat in chemical reactions actually come from? Well, hopefully you understand that um, according to the law of conservation of energy, you can't create energy, you can't destroy it. So in other words, if you're releasing heat or absorbing heat in a chemical reaction, then that heat must be either being converted from another form of energy if you're releasing it, or it must be being converted into another form of energy from the heat if you're absorbing it. Okay, So there's some key ideas that we're going to look at now as we look at two different kinds of chemical reaction, the two main kinds we see in the topic of energetics. Um, there's reactions that get hot. Okay, They're called exothermic reactions, so heat is leaving the system, so they get we feel them getting hot because there is heat escaping from the system. Um, most burning reactions, or in fact all the ones that I can think of, um, are exothermic, they release a lot of heat. So these are reactions where the chemical potential energy of a system must be dropping because we're turning that potential into heat, which is escaping from the system. Okay. Now, um, just to visualize those energy changes, what we often use in energetics is something called an energy level diagram. Okay, Some people call them enthalpy level diagrams, which is just as good. And in this particular energy level diagram, they've labeled this axis as a potential energy. Okay, um, It doesn't really matter too much, but I suppose if you're being really pedantic, we ought to say that this is the enthalpy of the system. Okay, And on these energy level diagrams, we have kind of, on the x-axis, we've kind of got the beginning of the reaction and the end. So this is the progress or the reaction pathway. Okay, it's kind of starting here and ending there. It's not quite as simple as a time axis, um, but it's uh, it's quite an in-depth uh, discussion to look into why it's not the same as a time axis. So I won't bother. Um, but it's basically a start and finish of the reaction. Okay. Now this or both of these energy level diagrams are talking about exothermic reactions. So that's ones that get hot. And we're at the start here with our reactants. Okay, they're turning into products. So we've got the reactants on one level of our energy level diagram, the products on another level. The energy of the system has gone down, or more precisely, its enthalpy has gone down. Okay, and in losing that potential, it's turned that potential into heat. So this heat is released and the reaction gets hot. On this diagram, we've got a really important symbol here, okay, and that is delta H. Delta H is the change, so delta means a change in. H is the symbol for enthalpy. So delta H is a change in enthalpy or the enthalpy change. Okay? Now we've gone from a high enthalpy to a low enthalpy and going from the reactants to the products. Okay? So that means the enthalpy dropped, and so when heat released, the enthalpy change is always negative. That's a really, really important thing to remember. Okay, So delta H is a negative quantity for exothermic reactions. 
Okay. Right, moving on to the other type of reaction, that is an endothermic reaction. I couldn't find a particularly interesting picture of an endothermic reaction. Um, quite a common one is that uh, is the reaction that takes place in a um, in an ice pack when you smack one of those. Um, but didn't make a very interesting picture, so I got this um, a kind of aid memoir about endothermic reactions. Um, anyway. So an endothermic reaction is, I suppose it could be viewed as being the opposite of an exothermic reaction. It's one where heat, thermos or thermic, okay, um, where heat enters the system. So it's endo, right? If heat is entering the system and it's being turned into potential energy, then we are the surroundings are losing heat. So if we were holding this reaction, we'd notice it getting colder because our hands, for example, holding a reaction would be losing heat, it would be going into the system and turning into a chemical potential energy. So the temperature of these things drops, which is why it says here that endothermic reactions are cool. Okay, so if we visualize these energy changes again, how do we visualize energy changes in energetics? We look at energy level diagrams, okay? So once again, we're starting at the beginning of our reaction with reactants, we're turning them into products. The enthalpy of the system has gone up, because we've put, because heat was absorbed by the system and it converted that into chemical potential energy. Okay, so that's what we mean by an endothermic change where heat is absorbed. Okay, and here we see once again we've got this symbol delta H, that's the enthalpy change. Okay, the change in enthalpy, H is just the symbol for enthalpy. Okay, and because this has gone up, Okay, there's been a positive change. Okay, so for all endothermic reactions, the enthalpy change is positive. Okay, so um, that's about that for the introduction. Um, some of the important things we've looked at there are endothermic, exothermic changes, what enthalpy is, and what enthalpy changes are, and what sign it will have.